So, well, what's your next take then, Kassad? Isn't it? Isn't it your turn now? Oh, is it mine? I think it is. Uh, okay, I have a, I have a nice one. Go on. I think it's going to be a little bit easy, but because we are recording this as a, on the day or the day before the last chance qualifier. Yes. So I'm going to say this: Face does not deserve to be on the major. The thing is, like, face, okay. yes, they win, they win a Grand Slam. Yes, they, everything, okay. like, is fine. It's going to be good for CS if they qualify because of, you know, it's face, it's all these players. And, you know, if you look at it like that, you know, it's for CS, it would be good, but they don't deserve to be there. Like, I watched the whole RMR. I watched this every single game, every single round of the maps they played, and it was just a disaster. Like, the things on T side, if you, if you go through map, like, uh, I mentioned this on HLTV, confirmed. Like, if you go and download the map Inferno against Na'Vi, the T side was something like like I wanted to scratch my eyes out, like how bad that was. The utility, the flashes are not being used. There is no reaction to the CT setups of Navi whatsoever. Just go 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 ahead and download it, and you will see that most of the gun rounds in the T side they have absolutely no flashes whatsoever, or they have a couple of flashes probably one max to finish up the round. Like and they're not reacting to the situation. Like if I'm the coach of of face and if i'm robin or whoever right okay i'm making the decision i don't know the dynamic dynamic between of them two of them there but you see that navi is playing backside on inferno <coughs> array they're playing pit side mostly after like mid round so basically they're there until they have smokes they fall back into small pit they fall back into big pit they fall back into site and that's happening over and over and over and you keep using your flashes early your utility early and then you end up having not a single flash to go into the site and you are supposed to go into the site to play against electronic bit what's going to happen when you enter the site doesn't matter who you are and how good are you at your aim you are going to get demolished if you end up in a crossfire against those players into the site in inferno or any other site right and there is no adjustment there is no timeout or saying like listen guys these guys are playing uh defensive setups on a they're they're sticking around bracket top middle for the first 30 seconds as soon as they lose the smokes they go back we need to use one flash, one mole, and one smoke to get into bracket. Trade whatever we can trade. Save at least three flashes for the you know actual execute. And that that's where Robs comes into play. You don't get to have to AK every single time. The priority number one or Inferno Hall's player is to have flashes. Why? So he can close the round out. He had two extra flashes for the finishing. If you go back to the B side, he has two flashes for B side pop, right? B side execute. If you go to the A side, he has flashes to, to throw from either to throw from to someone so he can flash for them or he needs to flash themselves. So the thing is like they are not doing anything like that. You can see that on the demo that they have like all guns, Kevlar's use a bunch of their utility before they even get any control of the map, they just go and get demolished. And that repeats over and over and over, and there is no reaction to it, right? Their whole CT side was just terrible. The CT side wasn't really good enough individually to fix up all those mistakes that happened on the T side. And there was no correction. There was no correction in the, in the rest of the games on those issues. So overall, the performance on the RMR from them doesn't qualify them for the major. And that's the whole point. And based on their performance there, they don't deserve to be on the major. That's that's all I have. Okay. What do you think, Maui? Um, I mean, deserve is kind of like where this is a little bit loose because for the performance at the RMR, obviously because they didn't win, they did they they shouldn't be there. But like, I kind of have been on the of the opinion that certain teams with certain rankings should actually should just make it to the major. So that's where I would draw it. Like. That's why I just think the RMRs are kind of weird because it is just an open qualifier that includes teams that I think, and I think some of them honestly should just get the direct invite because I think like outsiders, I think deserve to be at this next major. Obviously their performance did not merit them making it to the next major, but I think that because they should, they're the defending champions that to me says they deserve it. So yeah, does FaZe deserve it based off of play at the RMR? No, they were pretty freaking bad actually. And they also didn't, didn't clutch up against Maus at all. Yep. I, I mean, I was... I was because I was at the um, the Americas one. I couldn't see this Navi game that Kassad is is talking about. But in the Maus one, I mean, dude, the lack of fragging between a few of the players in that in that game was just like them. Th for once, it felt like Phase were the ones that were cracking, and that's what that's where I was like, oh my god, this is not even the same team that we were watching for the last year, where Kerrigan and Rain will hold a smoke at at the entrance of B, 
and then the mouse throw one flash and it's like they know where the flash is they kind of like half dodge it and then they still just don't get any kills as these mouse players are coming through i was like okay that's just inexcusable at this point you know you can't you can't be defending the b bomb site on inferno with 20 seconds left and not get a single kill like they're and even the players at A weren't even doing that well, it felt like. Also, like, Twist and Rops weren't actually holding their own. So it felt like they were just cracking. Um, yeah, this event wasn't very good for them. But I think that FaZe just deserved to be there. Because if you if you just won the Grand Slam, you've proven to... I, I think that recent form should actually get you into the Major. Because I just think we should have the best teams there. And I don't necessarily think that this one-off tournament, even though it was pretty, pretty awful what we saw from them, says otherwise i think that the pro league win to me says you should just be at the major yes i before you go on Dan, i just just to, 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 to you know circle back the the thing is like i do agree 100 they won the grandstand they should have a slot in the major <clears throat> bp who you know were the last major champion they should be on the major they shouldn't have to qualify that's that's another story that's another that's another topic for like the system and the whole the thing that that's bullshit they should have a, a, a spot there but i'm just talking about the straight up performance because everybody's in the same boat and everybody has to qualify sure. by playing other teams and beating other teams right and they didn't do enough if if there was not a last chance qualifier they wouldn't be on the major and we would have a whole different hot topic right now but they do have it and i don't think they deserve it. they're probably going to get it but based on their performance they don't deserve it and i want to mention mention that round like as well like, like they're holding the smokes on b and they got shot it's not just only that like there was a round where they were a 4v5 5v4 actually 4v5 and they stacked the three people on a side and they leave kerrigan, kerrigan on b what's the what's the what's the process there what do you what do you think is going to happen kerrigan is going to they're going to go oh, to yeah. b and kerrigan is going <laughs> to get three kills is he going to get three kills for you so is, the, is that the risk that you are taking? Instead of like, maybe you stack three people on B and leave one on retake A and they go A, you just back off and that's it, right? Or if you want to risk it, you put Twist in Pit and maybe he gets three kills on A and then you have a stack on B. Or you have all four players on, on the A side and if they go B, you still have guns and whatever, you play the next round. The gamble didn't, didn't work out so well. <coughs> this way, you have Kerrigan on B, he's going to get run over one for one at the very best. Maybe even if he gets two, it's still not good enough. It's still 3v3 on the fucking B side of Inferno. How do you retake that with a no and two rifles that have no nades? You don't, right? So those are the, the, the small things that get you the important rounds. They have, like, no control of it. They're not doing them well. And that's why they played bad. And that's why they deserve based on performance to be on this major right now. Like I said, if there wasn't a last chance qualifier, they still wouldn't be there. And it's still not guaranteed they're going to be there. We might see Cloud9 playing against them for the final spot. And they can beat them. Ants as well, like all these teams that, that that can do it, right? They can do it. You know, if FaZe lost to the whoever they lost, B and me, to oh, why can they lose to to some other team like you know, like big? Surely they can, right? So overall, that's just underwhelming. And <coughs> based on that, the system that we have, they shouldn't be there. But I would love to see them there. That's 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 a whole different point. Like, it's just there's different. obviously loads on on this and all these different angles like for example one thing this is why the word deserve like even Maui said is doing a lot of heavy lifting here like for example we didn't used to have this extra bracket spot where we gave Europe an extra spot so by the old system they already would have failed wouldn't they so by that logic yeah they literally don't deserve to and if you watch the games like you're saying with the eye test qualitatively they did play pretty bad I mean I'm with Maui I actually think individually most people played bad in phase yeah they had some dodgy calls too like they looked quite frankly like they were fucking very nervous actually reminded me how badly they played at the last major it was the same sort of shit and not just because they lost to bad news eagles again in fact if you even look like maui said there they still they still do the thing that that basically cost them all the titles the last six months which is when they get to the 14 14 game or the overtime game that they used to always win they always lose now with the exception of this grand slam one they just don't ever win those games now you know it's like you can actually bet against them in an overtime now like if you look at the flow of that game on the last if people don't know the Bad News Eagle one's bad, but the Mouse one's even worse. Like, they had Inferno one, their best maps ever, as the last map. And they just had that, like, that was, like, in position to just be won. Like, that's probably the craziest thing about the way FaZe has lost some of these games over the last, like, six, eight months, is some of the matches, it's not even just, like, they're losing and they can't get back in the game. It's like, sometimes they're even in the winning position and they just let it bleed out and lose. So, yeah, I agree. On all these aspects, yeah, they didn't play well enough. If you took the nameplates off, you wouldn't be begging them, like, oh, please, this team needs to be at the major. Like, we mainly just think that because it's FaZe and it's just CS go. It's the last minute. It's all the fucking narratives that make us want fears there. But I'm also similarly on Maui's train though of like, first of all, every 
one of the reasons why that stat that like I wish I wish the internet hadn't become this thing where I said jokingly earlier you can emit per, the piece of information to make it like a take sexier. But obviously the whole point of this show is we then unpack it all and we do say all the context. I hate this thing that basically HLTV didn't invent it, guys. ESPN did this years ago on Twitter, which is you just try to come up with stats that sound crazy, but they sound crazy because you intentionally didn't add the extra piece of information. So they did that stat on Twitter. They were like... Virtus Pro is the first ever team to win a CSGO major and then not even qualify for the next one. Key detail to add, this was the third time ever anyone could have ever done that. That's pretty fucking significant. There's been what? Isn't this like the 19th or major or something? Like, you make that sound like everyone else was a genius and only bomb-ass Jim didn't make it. By the way, guys, go back in history. There's some, like, happy, envious lineups and nip teams that could easily have fucking bombed the next major if they'd had to really qualify and go through like this where you go online into an RMR. into like, mate, there's plenty of major champions would have been, like, every now and then on Titch and Gore would have blown it. So, first of all, that's a bit whack anyway because, like, in that case, VP is only like the third team that could ever have done it anyway. And then secondly, the reason I bring that up though is because we did always take it for granted in CSGO. If you come even top eight at the major, you're the next one. That's just for granted. It's also the reason, by the way, why most of those stats of like, and then Device and Dupree were in all the, it's like, yeah, but yeah, everyone who's top eight gets to the next one, mate. Like, that's actually not as crazy. It's only because of the current status. It seems more epic. And then I'd also go back to, I agree with Maui. The big problem I have is, I actually have a controversial take, which is I wouldn't just do the classic, like, right, you won the last one, you automatically in the next one. Because essentially, I just want it to be the circuit that decides it anyway. So if through the whole circuit, outsiders had been crap like they have, then maybe they don't deserve to be here. But the point is, FaZe automatically would qualify, wouldn't they? Like, if you just look up the placings they've had. G2 also, like, for me, I'd at least take, like, the top eight in the scene or something like if you look at the circuit we have it's pretty robust it's not like you can play one tournament and you're going to be top eight like now i know the tricky thing is when would you take the ranking from that's all that stuff is to be figured out but i just feel like everyone who's watched any one v one sport like formula one or fucking tennis or whatever they just know that system works you have a circuit you play it you know roughly who's good you qualify people to a championship or a year-end tournament or whatever it's just a good system like it also encourages by the way just being good at the game and playing a lot of tournaments and having a good set of consistency so although I, I guess I sort of agree and I disagree like I disagree on the more abstract ideas of can we reformulate the scene or how should you qualify I do sort of agree though Kassad just because I like fears doesn't mean I'm just going to say they should be there no matter what like at the end of the day like the whole point of qualification is like it's actually supposed to you're supposed to win in the game like if you can't win in the game at some point in time that does hurt too yeah also this like this ranking system like it's so broken like our, our ecosystem is completely yeah. broken we have all these like TOs like blast and then you have like esl and then you have the valve independently running and then pgl taking some of the majors and it's just like makes no sense like you look, look at the, the 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 fifa at least right they have the official rankings fifa rankings and every other like uh, football association is connected and un under that like main fifa uh you know association right and that's how it should be with us you know, that's where you have the universal ranking. People are, it's what's crazy about me that you have like, you go through the ten, top 15 teams right now on HLTV, at least 10 of them have the players in their contract, like have incentives based on the position on the HLTV ranking. Like how stupid is that? Like, yeah, I'll get you three more K this month if you are top five HLTV. Like how the fuck does that make any sense? Like the points there don't qualify you for any tier one events. Like if you want to qualify for Blast, you can't. Obviously, because they're all partners. If you want to qualify for ESL, there is like their rankings, their own, their own ranking system and world, world ranking system. So if you want to qualify for the major, who the fuck cares about the HLTV ranking? You have to like go to the open and close yep. qualifiers and RMR. So it's all broken. Like it's all broken when it comes to that. And nobody's paying attention to that shit. We're just paying attention to some other stuff. Like, you know, it's just a bunch of bullshit that we need to fix. Otherwise, this game is going to go to like much deeper shit than it is right now. See more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.